He's Irish, I said to you. There were seven, seven kingdoms in England. Can you imagine? Seven. Essex, Surrey, uh, Northampton, etc., etc., etc. And Mercia, the big one. So when King Alfred arrived, he wanted the English people to be one. Because they were being attacked by the Danes of Denmark, the Vikings. They were ravaging places like Norfolk, Norwich, all those areas. That's why those areas of England, they still have, as part of their local law, Danish law, even today. Okay, that's where it comes from. So King Alfred organized all these seven kingdoms, Mercia, Essex, whatever, to come together. And he became the king for the first time of England. But he made a promise, like David, to God. He says, Lord, this country now called England, I want you to read the word of God first to every child. I want every boy and girl to know the Bible. That was what he wanted. He was actually educated. It wasn't an ordinary. He was, he was from Winchester. That's right. That, that, that was the capital of England. Yeah. And that church at Winchester obviously has something to do with him. There's oh, a big yeah, statue outside. Have you been there? Oh, I, I haven't been to that one, but I would imagine it would be. So King Alfred is one is the only, only king of England who's got the epithet the Great. No one else. Have you ever wondered why? If you're English. King Alfred is called King Alfred the Great. No one else, no king is called the Great after him. He was also known to educate the people. To That's right. To start reading. He was a good educated man. A man with a vision. I want my kingdom to be full of educated people in the word of God. And safe from invaders. And safe from invaders. So he organized defense. He got England to become England. Under the leadership of King Alfred, they emerged a new country called England. And the navy started. The land of the angels. That's what England actually means. England, angels, land. That's what the Dutch and the Dutch say. They they're nicknamed. They're Engels land. Engels land. Engels land. Engels. Engels. Precisely, my friend. <laughs> but today, which English people are following that tradition of King Alfred? Yeah, Do you know as a born again Christian? A man highly admired even by his enemies because God was with him like King David. So, yes, I close. The Queen has departed to heaven. She was a citizen of heaven. Are oh, you a citizen of heaven, my friends? I am. So one day when I've left planet Earth, I will bump into Queen Elizabeth II in heaven as well. And guess what? We'll be equal. <laughs> we'll be equal. She will no longer be the queen in heaven because there's only one king in heaven, Jesus Christ. And Jesus has subjects who are citizens. Are you? I beg you, a citizen of heaven, like the queen was. She had real faith in God. We should aspire. God created should, the world. We should aspire to you. Aspire to what she did. 70 years of service. We get pensioned off when 66. <laughs> right? But she kept on, 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 working, working, working. This week has been quite interesting. Number one, we had a new prime minister, Mrs. Truss. She appointed. And that queen is the one who appointed her. The one of the very last acts before she passed away. Second, she saw Boris leave office. <laughs> Three, she died. That's amazing. Very momentous events one in Elizabeth, British history. One Elizabeth comes in and another Elizabeth comes in. And another Elizabeth comes in as Prime Minister. Because that's really Elizabeth's sort of name, isn't it? Elizabeth's trust. Yeah, it's quite a common name, but it's quite a coincidence as well, isn't it? I know, but isn't it a nice coincidence? God says one Elizabeth has gone, now you got a new one. 
And she's quite a tough lady, this Elizabeth, right? She's very good in a foreign secretary job. And yes, Northern Ireland protocol has to be thrown away. If I was the prime minister, that's the first thing I'll, I'll tackle for the EU. Get rid of that horrible, horrible border thing of Northern Ireland. Because Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. Whether the EU likes it or not. Second, stop those terrible, terrible migrants coming from Calais. We have given the French millions and millions of pounds to do something about it. And guess what? It's on French land, not English land or British land. So what are the French doing? They're just taking the money. Huh? If it was the if it was reversed, my goodness, the French would be up to stinker every day. <laughs> they might even send cruise missiles against us. So why don't you stop this crisis? Eh, sorry, your problem. Fishing. If I was prime minister, I'd get all the British waters back, and I'd not allow the EU to fish in it until five years. And when they come, I say, okay, now I can give you a little bit here, there. Because it's our water. The Icelandic people dominate their own land and the waters around them. The EU paid the fishermen of, of, of Norfolk not to fish. Not to fish. I mean, and yet I like my fish and chips. But the price is too high right now. Because, partially because of this nonsense. Uh huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, Queen Elizabeth II loved the Bible. It's the number one best selling book in the whole world. That's right. No one in Great Britain is forced to read the Bible. But in Islamic countries, people are forced to read the Quran big difference. We have a choice here. That's why you can choose to open the pages or shut them and leave them behind. Simple. Jesus said, and I close, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. No one in Buckingham Palace, in Londonderry, in Belfast, or Edinburgh, or Norwich, comes to God except by me. That's what the Queen did. She accepted Jesus as Lord. What about you? Are you greater than the Queen? The Queen was humble, she was repentant, and she accepted Jesus as a King of Kings. Thank you for listening to a little guy like me. God bless you. Amen. Oh,